Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for helping you shop online safely. Today, we're diving into the Grand Hotel Terminus, a place that promises grandeur but might leave you feeling more terminus than grand. Let's break it down. First up, the rooms. Imagine walking into a space that looks like it was designed in the 80s but not in a trendy retro way. The wallpaper is like a kaleidoscope of questionable choices, and the beds, slightly firmer than a cloud of marshmallow left out in the sun. Room quality? I'd give it a 3 out of 10. Now, the bathroom. It's cozy, if by cozy you mean you can brush your teeth while sitting on the toilet. Shower pressure? Let's just say I've seen more enthusiasm from a garden hose. I rate the bathroom a 4 out of 10, mostly for the complimentary soap that smells like regret. Amenities? They boast a pool, but it's actually more of a glorified puddle. Nearby beach? You could find one if you squint hard enough and walk for miles. I'd rate the recreational facilities a 2 out of 10. Dining here is an adventure as well. They have an all-inclusive plan which sounds great until you realize all-inclusive means a buffet that's been left out since breakfast. The most popular dish? Probably the instant noodles, at least they're edible. Food and dining? A solid 3 out of 10. Now, staff friendliness. Picture a sloth serving you, slow and confused. A 5 out of 10 because I think they were just having a really long day. Location? Close to some nice restaurants, but without a translator app, good luck ordering anything. I give it a 6 out of 10. When you tally it up, we get a solid 27 out of 100, which means, folks, the Grand Hotel Terminus is not worth it. Save your money and find somewhere else that doesn't feel like a time warp.